all right guys what is going on glad to have you thank you for being here uh thanks for all the support uh appreciate you guys for watching the channel um well let's talk a little bit about tbi uh and the summer wells case tbi put out a statement today saying that they do not plan on doing a two-year press conference and went on to say, you know, talk about, um, you know, the, the, the usual stuff, you know, about speculation and all this and that. And uh, I wanted to, you know, I could have done this video way earlier but I just wanted to give it some thought before I done it um, so because they said that between last year's press conference and this year's pre press conference there's no more available information no new information um, basically nothing that would cause them to want to do a press conference um, so um, my question is now you know we had Leslie Earhart you know the public information officer with the TBI come out last year on June 15th and um, I noticed that she waited until uh, she waited until the press conference was over uh, before stressing that, you know, the, the case wasn't cold. Now, she could have done that when she got to the podi podium, but I feel like she knows that she would have been bombarded with, well, convince us that it's not cold. You know what I mean? It would have put her on the spot. That's why I think she, at the end of the press conference, said, you know, I want to reiterate the case ain't cold, and you know, tucked her tail and ran. Uh, so what do I think about the latest, um, I'll just call it a press release from the TBI. I think that they have evidence, right? But just because you have evidence doesn't mean that it's enough, number one, for an arrest, or number two, for a prosecution. Um, I think they got a little bit of this, and they got a little bit of that, and, you know, they keep bouncing it off the district attorney, and the district attorney just at this point uh, apparently just does not feel comfortable with a prosecution you know because we all know they've got to be you know they got to find find them you know basically guilty beyond a reasonable doubt um, and i tell you what's really playing a major role in this is something that don wells said a um, couple nights ago, he was on a, he was on a show or something like that, and he said, um, "It's a very rural area," because he he was taught him himself. He was talking about evidence. He said, "It's a very rural cameras. They're they're a very rural area. There's no cameras." Um, that's what it was. He said that it would be it would be easier to solve a case like this if it happened in the city versus a rural area in you know in the country or the county which he's got a point makes me wonder if they thought about that anyway um yeah i mean it'd be very easy to get away with just about anything out there where they live at um, you know, thinking about it, and I'm not saying this is what happened or anything, but, um, 
or let's, let's just do this, guys. Uh, if I lived on Ben Hill Road and I wanted to, let's say, you know, take somebody's life, you know, as long as I didn't make a mess, um, I could do it. And, um, you know, let's say if you were to, uh, let's just say if you were to, uh, if, if smothering was involved. Um, yeah. I think, you, I think as long as you, you know, because, I mean, this is really the only evidence that and maybe a pillow or, or something, whatever you do it with. Um, but, you know, in that situation, you got to think, guys, there's not going to be no blood. Um, like if, if, if asphyxiation or something that does not cause, a, you know, blood loss happens to where you can, you know, commit the crime, there's no cameras. Uh, as long I'm thinking as long as I can't find the body and very few people know about it and you keep your mouth shut be very hard to prove guys be very hard to prove and I think that's where we're at I do I mean, in my opinion, that's why I think all of it was planned. Um, you know, whether Summer's alive or she's not. Uh, I think, in my opinion, um, you know, it, it was planned just because of the involvement with CPS. Uh, I, I think the CPS investigation before Summer went missing was... Um, was pretty intense and maybe there were some uh, words said between uh, CPS and the Wells um, maybe CPS was like you know we're coming you better be here or you know, I mean, we're coming, let's say if they said we're coming June 15th, they could have said we're coming June 15th. And if the kid, you know, if Summer's not here or you're not here, we're getting the cops involved. And uh, I think, in my opinion, that the CPS investigation was getting very intense and very serious. And in my opinion, that's why Summer had to uh, disappear. And, um, you know, if she's alive, she could be with any number of family members. You know, there's no telling. I mean, she could be, she could be with family members that are related to Candace, from Candace to Dawn to Grandis. Um, she could be staying with one of them. And because it's such a rural area, it would be very hard to prove, especially if um, burner phones were used and those, you know, those phones are now gone. Um... I mean, I don't know if they can retrieve text messages from a burner phone that, let's say, got destroyed and is in, you know, let's just say it got put in the fire pit and got destroyed five days before summer got gone. You know what I mean? Can law enforcement pull them text messages out of thin air, even though there's, you know, um, a melted piece of plastic, which used to be a phone, 
and that's now probably in the dump incinerated also somewhere and been in there and been in the dump incinerated um, I wonder if law enforcement can pull text messages just out of the air without phones existing anymore you know what I mean I know it's easy to do if you physically have the phone and you can pull the stuff off of it but let's just say the phone was destroyed how hard would it be to retrieve the data at that point you know so um, I think unfortunately where we're at is if Don and Candace um, you know according to Ronnie Lawson if they just keep not cooperating and keep their mouth shut um, and the kids see I don't think the boys know anything I don't think the boys knew what was up I don't I think Don and Candace are smart enough to uh, I think they're smart enough to keep the boys in the dark on what was going to happen this summer if it was planned in my opinion you know what I mean uh, now do the boys you know do the boys know like you know um, you know because we've had people say you know well Don and Kansas used to smack the kids around you know um, yeah they know you know the boys know stuff like that the boys can tell them that you know that they were threats you know they seen their dad hit their mom their mom hit their dad you know they seen you know they seen and heard this and seen and heard that but uh, you know if 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 it was planned for summer to uh, get gone, um, I, I really don't think that the boys would be in the loop on it. You know what I mean? I, th I think they would make sure that uh, very few people would know about it. Uh, and, you know, this is just all my opinion, speculation. Uh, and... Uh, I don't know, TBI is saying that the speculation is getting out of hand. Um, well, there there it goes again. I mean, we, we, we've got the, we've got the legal, we've got every legal right to speculate all we want to. But, as law enforcement, if that's all you got to do is watch YouTube all day and listen to our speculation, then, uh, my hopes ain't too high for, for y'all solving this case. I think I think y'all need to pay a little less attention to the internet and uh, and, and use your use your uh, crime solving skills a little bit better. Um, I mean, I could sit on here and say you know I could do a two hour video on you know speculating the aliens you know. From Mars took summer, and TBI is gonna get pissed about that. I think they've got. Yeah, t I hate to say this, but TBI, if you're watching, <laughs> y'all got more shit to worry about than us speculating here. Okay. Y'all know way more stuff than we do, and you know you do. I don't know why this whole speculation stuff is bothering y'all so bad. Not unless it's causing people to call you. Now that, I can understand, you know. But, I mean, God forbid I get on here and say that space aliens abducted Summer and, you know, I hope that wouldn't prompt 10,000 calls into TBI. I hope it wouldn't. But, I mean, that's the only thing I can figure out. You know their issue with people. I mean, we we've got every legal right to speculate all we want to. You know now, you know if it's causing people to un, you know unnecessarily call in and but th but there again, I mean you you would think that if they had enough evidence to prosecute and arrest, it would already be done, right? So I I, th I think they've got you know a little bit leading up to summer disappearing. I think they got a little bit after she disappeared but it's just not enough for the DA to feel comfortable with uh, you know an arrest or prosecution and unfortunately I think Don 
is right about it happening in a very rural, rural environment, no cameras, it makes me wonder why he said that, right? It makes me wonder why he said that like he did. Is yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Um so yeah. I mean I'm gonna give I'm gonna give police until June fifteenth and if nothing happens, guys, I hate to say it. I'm really gonna hate to say it, but I know Leslie and TBI and police ain't gonna say it, but I'm gonna give them until June fifteenth, and uh, if nothing happens, guys, I'm gonna have to call it. I'm gonna have to call it a cold case. I mean that's, and it'll stay cold until you know re re relevant information becomes available for them to solve it, and. If there's only one or two people that knows where Summer is and what happened until one of those two people tell someone, break down and confess, may never know. May never know. So, um, I can't remember where that TBI, I'm sure it'll get out. Um, oh yeah, that's where I heard it. Uh, John Davis True Crime. That's right, John Davis True Crime. Uh, you guys can go check his uh, YouTube out. He done a quick video on it today. That's where I heard it. John Davis True Crime. Um, he played a little bit of it there, but really didn't go in depth about it. But um, I wanted to give it some thought and uh, go in depth about it. And get my opinion about it. Uh, so yeah, I'm giving police until June 15th, and if nobody's been arrested by then, I'm gonna go ahead and call the case cold, and I'm gonna say it's gonna be cold until somebody confesses or tells somebody. Because in my opinion, I think only one or two people really know what happened this summer. They can't be many. Because the more people involved in something like this, um, the easier it would be, the easier it would be to solve. You know. I mean, you know, like if two dozen people were involved in the disappearance of Summer Wells, it'd be a hell of a lot easier to solve than one or two people knowing. You know what I mean, guys? So, uh, but we'll continue to uh, hope and pray that, uh, you know, they, they figure it out. Maybe one day they will. Uh, but we, you know, I don't know. I still like to know what uh, John Pruitt means by the boys' case bleeds over into Summers. Not less, he's just talking about maybe the neglect and maybe a little bit of abuse. Or, you know, if there was any. You know what I mean? Uh, so, uh, tell me what you guys think. I hate to bring this information to you. I hated to hear it today. But, again, it is what it is. And uh, I just wanted to bring it on here and address it. And, uh, you know, so... It's kind of a sad day, to be honest with you. But, again, maybe we've got something to look forward to, which uh, will be police solving this case and finding Summer. You know, I hope she's alive, but, you know, uh, the, the results of... Uh, how she's going to be when, you know, the case is solved, that's, you know, right now it could go one way or the other, and it, it, it's going to stay that way until they solve the case, so, but guys, thanks for, for watching, appreciate it, and uh, let me know what you think about all this, it's a lot to take in, I know, uh, so yeah, drop some comments, let me know what you think, see you on the next video.